And look at that frame. All that perfectly capped honey stacked on there. Rachel wants to keep this one. <laughs> she tasted it and said, yep, tastes like honey, we're keeping it. <laughs> yeah, so like all these extras yeah. can go in those too. Can you set them up on your spot? No, they're gonna go in the barn. We're not doing nothing with the blue stuff that's going away for now. Yeah, it's more of a winter thing than a summer thing. So there's no more cleaning that I need to do in these? Uh, those ones actually, yeah. I think. And this? No, that's the winter. But all these frames. So I've been out here today for a couple hours before dinner and now it's after dinner working on getting all my dead outs cleaned and assessed, harvested, relocating them all to the barn, except for these two. I've cleaned them out completely and have them ready for new bees, should I catch a swarm or I purchase some bees. I did contact a local guy and said, hey, he set aside a couple swarms for me, or a couple of nukes for me, and he said, yep, send me a message and, and remind me this past weekend, and I never did, so. I need to follow up with that guy and see if he's got anything for me still. Some of these boxes are like, I think this is the one that I went through. Yeah, these things are so heavy. Yeah. How many frames do you want in these? Uh, they can fit five. Yeah, some of these are so, so heavy. I've been going through cleaning off fur comb and different things. The tops have basically all been filled with nothing but honey. And then the bottoms, I'm finding mostly empty and small clusters of dead bees. And I do not see any signs so far of wax moths, so that's good. So I kind of covered this in the last video. I fed my bees last fall probably 20 gallons of syrup, all of it with it was a very small trace amount of honey be healthy. And they can they took all 20 gallons. So a lot of what's in these boxes and on these frames is non-pure honey. It's gonna be mixed with sugar water, honey be healthy, which is gonna make it taste like lemongrass oil. But there's other frames that are gonna be good, pure honey, so. There was a lot of good suggestions and comments in the last video to whatever you do keep that stuff i mean you can you can use it to make mead you can do all kinds of things with it um, but it's the most awesome resource you could ever have from a beekeeper's per perspective for your bees so if you have a colony that's weak going into winter you can basically throw an entire box that's three quarters of the way full with honey give them some food for the winter question on that yeah just because I'm a viewer I don't know what you know <laughs> I mean shouldn't you store that in the freezer though like so things don't attack the honey in the barn like should it be stored somewhere else if that's the purpose a freezer would be a perfect place for it okay. and a freezer would also kill any 
bad stuff. Bad things that are on there. But we don't have the freezer space for a bunch of boxes of <laughs> I mean, basically five of these boxes, we could, about five deep boxes full of honey, and we don't have freezer space for it. Yeah. Is that open or is it just water? It's just water. Most of the consensus from the last video that I posted. Based on comments, everybody seems to think might that my basically waited too long, too late in the season to treat for mites, which meant the population was too low. There was not enough winter bees laid by the queen with a decent enough population. So the clusters were too small and they couldn't stay warm. And I'm down to my last box now that I've been going through. And there definitely seems to be a very plausible explanation for things. Um, I'm not finding massive quantities of bees so like even in the bottoms, there's, I think I already cleaned out some of this one already, but I mean, I'm not finding like, like two inch thick dead bees in the bottom. There might be like 300 or 400 or 500 dead bees in the bottom, not thousands. So even though I went into winter, I went into the fall, I went into the winter thinking to myself, but I had some really strong colonies. Uh, I don't think it was the case. So going into this year, assuming we have bees again, we probably will. Um, I need to come up with a different approach or a more proactive approach for treating for mites this year and add in doing mite counts of some some way, shape, or form before and after my treatments so that I know really how effective those treatments really were. It out. So many boxes. Yeah. So these are the heavy ones from today. Mm -hmm. 
And these three. These are these are feeders. Those are all supers. Are those all been, empty? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are all of our supers that we use when we with our flow hive. So yeah, those are all empty. This is all empty. Full, full, full. I cut a bunch of plywood a couple years ago that's almost the same size. And what I've been doing, just stack them and then put this piece of wood on top with a brick on there, just to try to keep the insects from getting in, the moths, and yeah, we don't really want a whole colony of ants in our barn hauling away all of our, all of our honey either. I mean, by no means a huge operation, but we definitely have a pretty penny invested in this. Um, so it's frustrating when it doesn't work. And you, I look at this and I know how much that costs. And yeah. Mm -hmm. We're trying to do the right thing. How much work keep... went into it too, and how yeah. much I mean, inspections and treating them right. and feeding them. And... He comes in all hot and sweaty in the middle of the summer from doing his monthly check-ins and just a bummer. Yeah. Today was a uh, today was a rather short video for us, but it was an important video for me because cleaning up this mess to me is something that needed to be done, and I didn't want to do it mm -hmm. because once you do it, it's like you have to deal with it. Like when you lose like a loved one, it's like closure. <laughs> it's like it's like the closure. Yeah. yeah, like when you lose a loved one and you have your funeral and you bury that person, mm -hmm. and then finally you can move on and start the healing process. Right. So this is kind of what today was for me in a way. Everything's mm -hmm. clean. All the dead is gone. All the resources have been harvested. We got two boxes all cleaned out, ready for some new bees. So see where we go from from here. Yeah, I need to send a message to that guy on Facebook. Yeah. And we should check on our way back to the house, our swarm traps, and see okay. if there's any bees around. Yeah, maybe. See you guys later.